Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the different factors which affect the duty. So let's start. So if we look at the duty of the irrigation water, it signifies the area which can be irrigated under the supply of the one cumic of the water. That is defined as duty. Now the first factor which affect the duty of irrigation water that is known as the type of the crop. Now as we know that the different crop they require different amount of water. Some crops which are in the Kharif season they require higher amount of water in comparison to the crops which are grown in the Rabi season. So that means the different crops around the year they will require different amount of water depending upon their condition. Hence the duties for them will also be different. Now, a crop which is requiring more water that will have the less flourishing acreage. This flourishing acreage means that means we are talking about the area which will be covered because of the supply of the water. And if we are keeping the same supply of the water, this duty which will be covering the area that will be lesser in comparison to the crop which is requiring the lesser water. That means the duty will be less for a crop which is requiring more water and vice versa. That means the duty will be high for a crop which is requiring lesser amount of water. That means these two will be interchanged. For example, if we look at the example of this, Let's say we are supplying the one cumic of the water and there are two crops, crop X and crop Y. These are the two crops. Now the depth of water which is required by this crop X, okay, so that is defined as the delta. So that depth of water which is required, let's say that is 120 centimeter or since here we are talking about the standard unit, so I will keep the all the values in the standard units. So the standard unit let's say that is 1.2 meter and the and the total depth of water required for the Y crop which is the delta Y let's say that is 1.00 meter. So it is obvious from the data itself that the crop X is requiring more water in comparison to the crop Y. This is the supply of the water which has been constant for both the crops. This is the supply. Now the duty if we want to define that. So from this data if we take a piece of the land let's say this is the piece of the land which is having a certain area. Now the water which is stored over this land that is occupying certain volume and that volume which is occupied that is one cubic meter and the supply of one cubic meter is provided within one second. So in that one second this crop X that will be requiring 1.2 meter of the depth. So the area that will be covered that will be equal to 1 upon 1.2 that will be the area for the crop X while the area covered by the y while the area covered for the y crop that will be 1 upon 1.0 now as you can see in the area of the x crop in the denominator there is a bigger term in comparison to the y therefore the area which is covered for the x crop that will be lesser than the area which will be covered for the y crop and this area covered is none other than the duty of the water. Therefore, the duty of the crop X that will be lesser than the duty of the crop Y. That is the first factor which affects the duty of the irrigation water. Second of the factor is the climate and the season. Now, we know that the water which is flowing through the canal system it is exposed to the atmospheric condition. So during the transmission of the water, some of the water is lost in the evaporation because 
this canal is taking the water which is continuously exposed to the sun rays because of the heat which is getting accumulated some of the water will be lost in the form of the water vapors and some of the water that will be percolating into the ground because of the seepage and that process is known as the percolation so these are the losses now obviously when the summer season will be present so there will be higher temperature in comparison to the winter season so that means these losses will be higher in number when the summer season will be present so that means these losses which are known as the transmission losses they vary with the season and hence the water which is available that will also vary depending upon the season and the water available if that is varying that means the duty that means the area which can be irrigated with the help of that water that will also vary from season to season so that is the second factor which affects the duty of the crop next of the factor is the useful rainfall so if the sum of the rain which is occurring naturally if that is falling directly over the irrigated line because when you are looking at the topography so it may be possible that only this much land is used for the irrigation purposes or that means this much land is used for the cultivation part only while this rest of the part that is used for the construction activities for example let's say there is a road which is passing through it or the certain buildings are present in this remaining area so if the rainfall if that is falling directly over this irrigated land so obviously the amount of water which is required in this field that will be lesser because some of the requirement that has been fulfilled because of the natural rainfall therefore the less irrigation water will be required to mature the crop therefore more the useful rainfall that useful rainfall is defined as the rainfall which is falling exactly over the irrigated land so lesser will be the requirement of the irrigation water if that is happening and if the lesser amount of irrigation water is required that means more will be the duty of the irrigation water because if we look at the duty that is is equal to the area upon the discharge area per unit discharge that is defined as the duty so if this discharge is decreasing obviously this duty will be increased so that is the third factor which affects the duty next of the factor is the type of the soil which is present in the field so if the permeability of the soil under the crop if that is high that means whatever water is present that is seeping into the ground that is going into the ground this property of the soil that is known as the permeability that means the number of voids which are present they are higher in number so the water will be lost continuously due to the percolation and this water loss will be more if the permeability is more and therefore the water which will be available for the crop that will lesser and hence the duty will be less therefore for the sandy soils which are the dominant example of the type of soils in which the permeability is more the duty of the water is lesser in case of the sandy soil and if the soil type is clay if the soil type is clay that is having the least void volume in that case the water which will be available that will be higher and because of that the duty will also be higher so that was the fourth factor affecting the duty last of the factor is the efficiency of the irrigation now what is this efficiency 
how do we define this efficiency of the irrigation so this efficiency that is usually defined as the ratio of the water which is reaching the roots of the crop to the water which is supplied so if the water supplied let's say we have supplied 100 units of the water but on the field only 80 units of the water has reached so that means the efficiency of the irrigation that is 80 percent that means the remaining 20 that has been lost because of the different reasons so if the cultivation method if that is faulty and less efficient that means there will be wastages of the water therefore the duty of the water will naturally be less so what we do we increase the efficiency of the irrigation by employing the latest technologies in the irrigation and to minimize the losses so the lesser number of losses that means the more will be the availability of the water for the irrigation purposes and if the water available if that is more that means it will result in the higher duty of the water therefore the cultivators the farmers they should be trained and educated properly to use the irrigation water economically and efficiently because that will increase the coverage of the water in the land so that was the last factor which is efficiency of the irrigation affecting the duty so this completes all the factors affecting duty now in the next video we will take a look at the significance of the duty and what are the different methods with the help of which we can improve the duty. Thank you.